In this video, we'll use the fact family strategy to solve one step equations. Here are the terms that we should know equation, a math statement that sets two quantities equal. A variable is a symbol, often a letter, that stands for an unknown number. A solution is the value of the variable that makes the equation true. And equivalent equations are two or more equations having the same solution set. So fact families are something that we learned back in earlier grades. And recall if I wanted to make a fact tr family triangle using the numbers 6, 1, and 7, we'd be talking about addition and subtraction. So we'll start with our triangle. We'll put addition down at the bottom and the two subtraction signs along the sides. We know 6 plus 1 equals 7, but now if we want to write four number sentences using these three numbers, we can use the fact triangle to help us with that. Please observe the way the equations came from the structure of the fact triangle. Okay, so here is um, another example, but this time we're going to need to use multiplication and division. So the multiplication goes at the bottom and the division goes along the sides. 3 and negative 5 go along the bottom, and the negative 15 goes at the top. And our four equations, 3 times negative 5 equals negative 15, etc. So you might wonder, how does this help me with algebra? Well, because what if I gave you an equation? So instead of the 3 times negative 5 equals negative 15, I gave you 3n equals negative 15. We can see 3 is being multiplied by n, so we can set up our fact triangle. And there's going to be 4 equations that result from that triangle, but this time each of the equations is going to have a variable in it. So if you wanted to solve for the variable, which equation will give you the most direct way of solving? Can you see it's the third one down? We can see that the solution then is n equals negative 5. So here we have another equation, 7m equals 21. We will use a multiplication and division fact triangle structure. 7 times m is at the bottom and 21 is at the top. Our four equations will come directly from the triangle. And which one is the most direct for solving for the variable? And the solution then, m equals 3. Here we have a division equation. And same thing, we'll use our fact triangle with multiplication on the bottom and the two division sides signs along the side. 30 is going to go up at the top. And when we write our four equations, we can start with the multiplication again. p times negative 6 equals 30. Negative 6 times p equals 30. And then our two division equations. Which one is the most direct for solving for p? And what is the solution? Right, we have a subtraction equation. So the in the fact triangle, the addition goes at the bottom, the two subtraction signs along the side. Let's put x at the top, 3 in the bottom left, and 12 in the bottom right. And let's write our four equations. Either of the top two would solve for x directly. And so the solution is x equals 15. 
So now we have an addition equation coming next. How would you set up this back triangle? So you see, we are using the structure of a strategy that we learned in an earlier grade to solve for an unknown in an algebraic equation. And we start to see that there's many equivalent ways of writing the same equation. One of them is the most direct. In this case, of course, it's the bottom. That'll give us our solution. So the question is, could I have taken the original equation, k plus 7 equals 13? Could I have written it directly as that subtraction equation that you see? Because eventually we want to be efficient and write an equation in a preferred form to get the solution directly. All right, um, what about fractions? Will this work for fractions? Sure, let's set up an addition and subtract subtraction triangle. And x and 1 fourth would go at the bottom, negative 3 eighths at the top. And the most direct equation to solve for x, can you see this? It would be negative 3 eighths minus a fourth equals x. But sometimes it's better to go ahead and write the different equations. But now hopefully you will see the one at the bottom is more direct. So when we solve this equation, remember we need common denominators. We'll show you what that looks like. And our solution is x equals negative 5 eighths. Okay, so just one or two more to go here. Let's have a multiplication equation involving fractions. We're going to set this up by the 3 fourths and the y at the bottom and the negative 11 at the top. Could I rewrite this directly or would you need to write all four equations? I feel like I could write it directly as e negative 11 divided by 3 fourths equals y. But here are all the equations. It's the third one down that I want. And when I divide fractions, there's a bunch of ways I could do that, but a really efficient approach is to multiply the negative 11 by the reciprocal. And so my solution is negative 44 thirds. And finally, could we use this in a problem solving situation? On January 10th, 1911, the temperature in Rapid City, South Dakota fell 47 degrees in 15 minutes. So fell means it, it um, decreased in temperature by 47 degrees, right? What was the temperature at 7 o'clock a.m.? So if we think of that as the unknown, that missing box, we could say x, right, minus 47 equals 8. And again, we could set up our fact triangle. The two minus signs go along the side, and the plus goes at the bottom. x is at the top, 47 along the corner, and 8 at the other corner. And the most direct way of solving this equation without writing out all four of them can you see it would be 47 plus 8 equals x. Therefore, x equals 55. That is the solution to this equation. So remember, we used fact triangles to solve one-step equations in this video.